Hello and welcome to Sophistix Beginners Tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to design your structure. When we started this project, we selected a 2D slab. Based on that and the selected design code, SSD automatically created three tasks for design. Design parameters of area elements, design ULS and design SLS. The design parameters task lets you preset design parameters for every group of area elements. You can choose from four reinforcement types, two reinforcement layers orthogonally, two reinforcement layers, three reinforcement layers and circular reinforcement. Here you can define the direction and the distance of the principal and cross reinforcement. The distances relate to the axis of the reinforcement bars. The settings in reinforcement are needed for the SLS design. You can set a diameter, a minimum amount and a maximum amount for your reinforcement bars. You can also click on this little calculator and define a rule. Then the program will create reinforcement based on the rule that you defined. I defined the same rule for the upper and lower principal reinforcement to have a diameter 10 every 150 mm. Lastly, crack control lets you define the maximum crack width and steel stresses. So I set the maximum crack width for the principal reinforcement both for lower and top to 0.3 mm and the maximum steel stress to 360 megapascals. You can define different parameters for every group in your project. Simply click on new. You can now select a group in selection and define specific parameters for it. This way I can tell the program that I want to have group 3 with only two layered reinforcement which is not orthogonal. Another way to select your group is to do it visually. To do so use the select button. Once I click it I'm in the animator and I can select multiple groups or just a single one. I could now give my group 1 special rules. But basically I don't want to have specialized groups so I delete group number 3 and 1 and just click OK to process this task immediately. These settings for our area elements are now available for the design tasks. Now we will take a look at the design of area elements in the ultimate limit state. Firstly you can select the number for the design case in which the results of this ULS design will be stored. You can also adjust your safety factors gamma C and gamma S. We will use the preset for this example. This table shows all available superposed load cases that were defined as ULS in the define combination task. All load cases containing support forces and bedding stresses are automatically selected for the punching check. In the next tab you can adjust your shear reinforcement. Also you can select on how to do your punching checks. In the punching area the maximum bedding reinforcement ratio is set to not exceed 1.5% of the concrete's cross section area. Outside the punching area the bending reinforcement is limited to 0.2% of the concrete's cross section area. The program attempts to avoid shear reinforcement by increasing bending reinforcement up to this ratio. More adjustments to this design procedure can be done in the control parameters tab. We will use the preset for our example. You can find further information about the design procedure via help, user manuals, BMS. This is the used module. In the last video we talked about adjusting the text output as well as the graphical output. I will not go into detail here. I click OK to calculate the task. You can see the modules that are calculated for this task up here. Next up is the design of area elements in the serviceability limit state. As in the ULS task, all eligible load cases for the SLS design are listed in this table. All load cases of the permanent combination are pre-selected. The program offers two options to limit crack width. Either the diameter of the reinforcements are checked with the tables from the design code or you can manually enter a maximum value for the crack width. The other tabs in this task work the same way as in the ULS design task. We leave the preset and start the design calculation by clicking OK. This calculation will now actually prompt the warning. You can see it with the exclamation mark on top which turns orange. 
and we can read up on it directly in the calculation report. The program basically tells us that we should not select the original euro code without a country name because this leads to very high reinforcement values in this case. This is fine for this showcase example, but for your projects I recommend using the country code. I also want to design my beam right now. So I create a new group, which I will call design beam. And I will insert two new tasks, namely design ULS beams and design SLS beams. The beam design tasks are self-explanatory, so I will not explain them in detail. I'm happy with the preset for this example and I calculate them immediately by leaving the dialog with the OK button. I do the same with the design SLS beam task. Now we generated design results for both area and beam elements in our system. Thank you for watching and thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.